This lens was made in Germany, and it was for 35mm cinema projectors. Like this kind of huge cinema projectors. In this episode, we will see how to adapt this lens on a mirrorless camera and use it as a photo and video lens. This lens is sold around $100 right now on eBay. And as almost all projector lenses, it has no diaphragm. So you are forced to shoot at f2 all the time. The main problem with this lens is that there's no official way to adapt it. So I had to do some Frankenstein work and create my own adapter. After some testing, I found out that the back of the lens fits almost perfectly inside this old Helios 44 empty body. All I had to do was to add some rubber bands to make it stay firmly in place. And finally, I plugged the thing into a M42 flat adapter to get the infinity focus. Quick tip, for all my rubber needs, I use an old bike inner tire that I simply cut with scissors. The rubbers are really strong and black, so it's perfect to create some do-it-yourself lenses. Because the lens only aperture is f2, there is a lot of light coming in, and colors are very well defined. There's something vibrant and artistic to the color edition, and not only because I shot the test in a museum. is extremely sharp in the center, making it a great tool for capturing details. For example, the details in the building structure are very well defined, even at f2, and still the environment is not overexposed. You can see here that the corners of the lens are way more soft, but they do not vignette, and that's a plus. At f2, even in a dark museum environment, the lens delivers a clean image, without rising the ISOs. Because the center of the image is so sharp, portraits are just amazing. So the background is not as melted as if it was an f1.4 lens, but still, it isolates the subject in a very organic way. As I already mentioned in previous episodes, Projector lenses are a true secret treasure that get you some amazing quality for really cheap. All you need is to learn to adapt them and work on your manual focusing. You can check in the description links to the other projector lenses I reviewed before. And you can also visit the Weird Lens Museum for free right now. So don't forget to subscribe to get the new episode, follow me on Instagram to check my weird experiments, and I'll see you really soon. Bye!